Most model makers are outcasts who don't fit in anywhere else because all we're capable of doing is making tiny versions of things. And ultimately, if I wasn't doing this, I couldn't think of doing anything else. It's an inbuilt desire to make tiny things. Hi there, I'm Nathan Stockhill. I'm the model shop manager for the Bristol branch of Amalgam Collection. Uh, we primarily focus on making one-off bespoke models for our more discerning clients. Uh, as well as supporting our larger international branches in China and Hungary. It starts by meeting the client, finding what they're passionate about, why that car is personally something special to them. We then scan the car, translate that 3D data, and then modify it into scale objects. Each part of the car has to be engineered individually to fit together, usually at 1 to 8, 1 to 4, 1 to 5 scale. Construct the car using real automotive paint, accurate materials where possible, to create a model that reflects the car in as close as detail as possible. We produce high detail, perfect replicas of any form of transport, from F1 to yachts, from historic race cars to everyday sports cars. The model and the car become part of our lives for months. We spend time photographing them, we sit inside them, we get to know them. It's all about capturing the model in as close a detail as possible. There is no limit on how long it takes to make an amalgam model, it's just when it's right. So when we produce a model, the person that we're comparing ourselves to is, is ultimately ourselves, because there is no one that we're in competition with except ourselves. And I think that's what pushes amalgam models to be better, is a, is a need to be better than ourselves, better than what we've produced before, and closer each time to recreating a car at scale.